mother and daughter. Oh. That's out of most. Uh, yes, and then a foal out of each. Yeah, that's her first foal. Right. But she's called Clover because she actually has a clover shape on the top of her back. Oh. She was easy to name. Yeah. Unfortunately, unfortunately, the Palomino mare is called Pal for short because one of the kids thought it was a pink pony and I go, we can't have that. Yeah. So she's just called Pal. I mean, they've all got posh names. Yeah. When it's something or other she is. Right. Um, but she'll be about 14 now, so that might be her last foal. Oh, okay. yeah. But she, she'll be... I don't know if she was working out, she's five now and that's her first foal. Right. But she won't obviously have one next year, you know. No. We'll just see how they go. Yeah. And how old are the foals now? They were born on the 18th and the 23rd of April. Right. It's the 12th today, so that makes them about two and a half and three weeks old. And so what, the other one is a Cremello. Yeah, that's Cremello and a Palomino, and the Cremello has blue eyes and pink skin. We're at Anne's yard today, and is Renzi's riding instructor, and my jumping instructor on Apollo. Snowy, snow white, I don't know, I couldn't oh. think of a better name, because just snow is easy. Yes. And she follows, you can pick her front feet up, she's quite happy for you to fuss her. The other one's still very timid. Oh, it's funny, isn't it? Mm. It'll come. I don't yeah. force it. No. They are becoming more independent because I now really struggle getting them in. <laughs> they get into the yard. And who's and the little? Not uh, around. Kit Kat. And mm. who's the little inspector there? Oh yeah. Very original names too. Kit and Cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. Yeah. So you were saying that um, you have trouble bringing because they come in at night then. Yeah, they're in at night. Oh yeah. yeah. Because they need handling and I, it's still not very warm. Yeah. And they have a feed. Pa Mums obviously have a feed. They have a short feed every day. But I think if I just let them be wild at the moment, I'd just like to sit and handle them by letting them come to me rather than... Because I can't really lead them yet because they're too tiny. Because normally, as you know, when you lead a foal, you don't lead them by their heads because of their necks too delicate. You put a rope round the front and you hold behind. Yes. They're so tiny it gives you a bad back. Oh, right, yes. So they follow, but yes. they follow into the yard, no trouble. Yeah. And then when they want to enter the stable, they then canter off and then mum gets worried. So I uh, have to bring them out yeah. and they zoom up here. Yeah. But they're very entertaining. When they first went out together, they didn't know what to make of one another. And then the Palomino thought that that one might be her mum, actually. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, they, they soon sorted themselves out. Good. started you see with the black and white one that's how we got into Shet I got into Shetland because the big mare up there that I bred of my uh, Aventa is now 26 
travel on her own. So, so we had to have a companion. And at the time, I couldn't have a foal. She was the only thing. She's unregistered. And so she came to live. And then a client had a Shetland, again, that wasn't registered at all, and wanted it held in. But couldn't do it. I mean, we didn't do it. I don't mean it like that. But it came to live here for the vet's girl. But I covered her first, and we had our very first foal. Um, actually, the people who had the colt bought it, so they still have it. Um, and um, that's how we started. And then one of my, my goddaughter showed her a bit in hand because I have a very good friend, daughter and sister from Canada. And um, our, we bought her a shed and we lived here. So the two girls showed together how the world was fully swollen because they couldn't like it. And so obviously Pinto went to the world. Right, so this one is only about 30, the other one will be 32. Just in case you didn't quite catch what we were saying, um, the Palomino mare is called Pal and Clover is her daughter and they both had foals this year. Anne keeps her own stallion obviously a Shetland and he is called Peanuts, that's his nickname and he's also a Palomino. Mum, Palomino Mum is 32 inches high and Clover is 30 inches high. And then Saturday he's going up to Hamley Hag, oh, yeah. just to not to do much because the ground's too hard. Mm. Um, and I'm going to take him to Scarborough and District show, just to do a dressage test and a clear round, just to try and yeah. keep keep the momentum. Keep the momentum going for him. And it bashes and it bites and it has me wrapped round its little finger. In the winter, you are lucky if you can keep it out half an hour in the field. Oh, it brings itself in. Does it not want to be out? No. Nope. In the sun. It's happy now. It's out all night now and mm -hmm. it's quite happy. But you have to have it in at seven. I leave its stable door open. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it brings itself oh, in. that's puzzle. That is lovely. But not good in traffic. Yes. He's my old age horse. The one I fell off and knocked myself out. You know, mm. really good old age horse. Oh. Aren't you? You're not as quiet. He panics. He's lovely. You do anything with him, you can sit underneath him, but he panics well. when things go wrong. This is a well section D. Oh, now he's a good. Now he's good nice. Stamp, isn't yeah, but he's got too big a crest on him. Oh, I, I have, see. Yeah, I have to bring him in. He was supposed to be my OAP horse. Uh, Quite sharp. Oh dear. No. <laughs> Aren't you? But you can trim his legs without tying him up with clippers. He marches, not frightened. Traffic, <laughs> stupid things frighten me. But he's got to go out to some shows this year. With the blue eyes. Yep, because yeah. she's pink. But she had a Palomino and white colt last year. It was her first oh. foal. By him, <laughs> but he's got brown spots on him. Palomino spots. Now, this is a saga, aren't you, Tank? <laughs> this, she's actually called Scylla. Scylla. I had a very nice um, little colt. And I did a swap for her when she was six, seven months old. But he has a lovely temperament. I wouldn't have to worry about kids coming in with him. 
judge. you know, yeah. or anything like. Because yeah. temperament to me is the most important oh, thing. Oh gosh, yes. You know. Yeah. And sorry, what was his name again? Well, I call him Peanut. Peanut. He's actually called Hermit's Camacho. Oh. So he's come. <laughs> Hermits are quite a good Brit, you know, a good stud. So he's well bred, and I chose him because he's very short and compact. Yes. I do over there every day religiously. Yeah. Well, we do our paddock religiously, but it's only half an acre. The rest of it, because the boys are so good, they do it round the edge. We don't, we don't have this. Well, you see, this is because of the stallion. Oh. He poos over the top of them. Oh, I see. So I yes. then have to bring the harrows in and just go yes. and blitz it. Oh, yes. And pick some. Um, yeah. But I, only do, I do that when they're not in here, so like when yeah. I change fields. Yeah. And then it comes back, apart from the weeds. Yes. Hello, little. Hello, little. Hello, you little. Hello, good. You're a good girl, aren't you? Yes. You're a good girl, aren't you? Yes. That's a good girl. Now, no, no, we would never say that. Say that to no. The little black and white Shetland was the original stallion, um, but obviously he's been castrated now. He's with two mates, also gelded. So they'll, they'll always live here. No, near Claxton, the other side of the A64. Mm -hmm. But he is really good. younger day what was your horsey thing you know were you, were you um you mentioned maybe an inventor well i did a bit not a lot because i mainly just did showing and a bit of jumping there wasn't so because i originally you see was born in bromley in kent you see so being in the outskirts of london there wasn't i mean i showed at rotten row in london in hyde park because I taught in a, in a London riding school initially. Um, so I grew up not in the countryside, believe it or not. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. We love reading the comments, we love emojis, and we'd love a thumbs up. If you would like to catch up on some of our older videos, just click on the Apollo icon, which will take you to our homepage. We have over 1,700 videos to choose from. And you can sort by the most popular, the oldest or the newest. Thanks for watching. TTFN.